Okay. Andy Cruz just had his pro debut today. He fought Juan Carlos Burgos. Um, what I got to say, Juan Carlos Burgos, uh, 35 years old, Mexican. Um, he fought the likes of Devin Haney, Keyshawn Davis on his last outing, and he also fought Mikey Garcia. Andy Cruz, uh, you know, pitched a shout out for sure. Um, I liked his pro debut. He looked good. He looked exciting. Um, definitely has a lot of things to work on when it comes down to getting acclimated in the professional, um, you know, in, in the professionals. You know, I think that um, he needs to sit down on his punches and do less unnecessary movements. Very, he, you know, I could see the the Bosey pedigree for sure. But in the same time, I still see the glimpse of, you know, his amateur pedigree. Um same thing also i seen that you know um you know his head movement is phenomenal um he was stabbing to the body occasionally in the beginning of the rounds i like to see him throw uh, more stabbing shots to the body and, and you know definitely uh stay in his front foot you could tell that he had a hard time cutting the ring at times and i think with a great boxer with boxer punchers i do believe that you know it's going to be hard so you definitely got to show more more skin to your game when it comes down to boxer punchers. Um, nevertheless, uh, pitched a shout out. First first pro debut doing 10 rounds with a, a former champion. And in the same time, you know, a well-seasoned guy. A lot of people said that Juan Carlos Burgos was um, definitely not himself, more of a washed down fighter. But nevertheless, I do believe that Andy Cruz did a great job in this fight. Um, is he ready? For the guys in the top five, definitely not. Is he ready for the guys in the top ten? Not necessarily. Um, you know, I just think that they have to move him slow. I think Eddie Hearn needs to move him slow and accordingly to um, his positioning. I think that he's going for the IBF route. Uh, he's already ranked um, in that top 18 discussion so it's going to be tough it's going to be tough to see i think it's he might even be ranked in the top 15 already so um and, and that goes for the ibf uh sanction but um hopefully we get to see more out of andy cruz i was impressed i like that uh his lateral movement was amazing and the jab i mean his jab was so accurate i would have to say like 90 to 95 percent accurate head movement phenomenal definitely want to see a lot more uppercuts um due to the fact that because his head movement is so good people are going to be wanting to shoot to the body and i just need to see that catch and shoot those uppercuts more often but besides that andy cruz a 10 round um pitched a shout out against juan carlos burgos much love to you guys please like comment and subscribe to the channel